Good morning everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Puzzle Quest of Sanako, this is part 58 and in the last episode we just invited one of the giants, uh, which is the... No, it's actually not the main quest, that's my mistake, okay. So we are inviting two giants to something, I'm not even sure what we are inviting them to. Uh, invitation for what? To a tournament, okay. So we invited, we invited one of the giants, now we are inviting second of the giants. Uh, and we have to fight a giant on the way to invite a giant. So this is like a giant's uh, doorkeeper or something? Seriously, seriously, I keep complaining if I only had one more green mana, I could like have the most amazing uh, flaming schools and this one, this would be just, it's just basically dead. Like, m like move one, he would be dead. Instead I can only blow like him for like 20 damage or something. It's a silly complaint, like, I can only blow him for, like, some... yeah. Okay, like, that's not exactly, like, a, like a poor, uh, anything, but seriously... Okay, so, so instead of, like, uh, having him half dead, he's only uh, a quarter dead, so yeah. <laughs> it's especially true when you have a good opener, which you could, tu you could turn into, like, amazing opener. If you have, like, a bad one, it's still a bad one, so it doesn't matter, but... It's so nice when we have like you really see this. Uh, and yeah, he's protected against like uh, like one third of my spells, so uh, it's better not to try try abuse like going for all in into the like some spells. Being a bit cautious is fine. Okay, manas are always good. Okay, we have one of the manas. Yeah, this is the mana I have. Uh, okay. Uh, fortunately, like I'm getting money, like a lot, of, lots of money. Okay, that would be really, really nice flaming school here. All everything here would explode as like one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven, eight skulls. Uh, on the other hand, that would be the only thing I would explode. Everything else would not. So, eh, let's do it anyway, or not. And now, like, basically lost the the point here. Oh well, not a big deal. Uh, actually, it's a big deal because now I don't have any mana at, at max, so I can't do anything uh, cool. Now I do. And yeah, he also has a similar uh, trickery for... Uh, converting one kind of gem. Everything that converts one kind of gem into other kind of gem, like, it doesn't really matter which into which. I mean, my version is way better because it converts stuff into skulls. And this is way more powerful than just simply converting like one color into another color for some mana. Like, converting color... Uh, well, so converting stuff in does two things. So first thing, it just gives you a lot of what, what you convert it to. So if it converts like, let's say... Uh, no, not this one, this one. Uh, uh, anything into red, so it gives you a lot of red, red mana. And it also gives you a lot of uh, some free turns probably. And it also gives you... Uh, some cascades, so it's going to... it's just so nice. It's super powerful. I mean, like, like... If this game had, let's say, uh, instead of having seven types of gems on the map, and I'm counting schools together, like one school and five schools, because they match together, and there's also wild cards, but like, let's ignore them. Let's say that there's like seven different kinds right now, uh, primary kinds. If you get six, there'll be so many more matches. If we had like uh, like eight, there'll be much fewer. Uh, especially like four matches, five matches, like... So removing one of them to even temporarily, or even removing two of them like Flaming Schools does, it's it's so powerful, it's just crazy powerful. Uh, and yes, and uh, de dealing uh, like 13 damage a turn is also crazy powerful. Uh, we can still do that. Whoa, come on, I wanted to do this. Why couldn't I do this first? Oh well. Oh, come on. Why can't I do this first? Oh well. Not a big deal, let's continue. Okay. Uh, 
It did exactly nothing, I just wanted to deny him that, I guess. Okay, uh... Yeah, that'd be like pretty sweet flaming schools here, but yeah, that doesn't mean do anything really. We'll just do it for fun. Okay. <laughs> the flaming schools will just basically blow up the half of the board, and and just from cascades, I will have like million matches. Let's do that. Okay, and uh, now let's get some. Actually, it does nothing. This this thing does nothing. Uh, it does nothing because I'm always maxed at all the mana and I cannot possibly lose all the manas. Well, I guess I can, but that'll be difficult to lose my uh, manas. You are victorious. I wonder how it even like. Even playing this without having uh, flaming schools would be so boring, or something like flaming schools. It's such a wonderful ability, it's just crazy. It's my favorite thing in the game. It's just blowing things, everything in like, a spectacular way. Good quest, Age of Honor. Sunspear wishes to talk to you with you about battling Frost Giant. Okay. Okay. Is she a woman or am I a woman? Uh, I'm, I'm sure I'm a woman, but like the way the way these miners are phrased it, I'm not sure if like he sounded like a woman, but like I shouldn't question people's gender identity. It's just rude. Okay, let's go here. There's also a quest to be done here, but we'll do it later. Uh, I think this is the southmost thing I can do. No, well, let's actually go to the Citadel first and like buy some skills. Uh, Citadel, buy skills. I think I, I still think I have to level 16 here. Uh, yeah, so level 14 is not going to be enough, so yeah, probably level 16. Uh, oh well, that's fine. I'm getting gold at pretty good pace. Battle the Minotaurs, yes. Uh, which is different from what I've been doing for the last I don't know how many episodes. Okay, that's extra fire. Uh, eh, sure. I should probably take a break from this game, but like it's been so much fun and it just kind of like teases you with all the side quests like so uh, In some games like like okay, so you have a like project But it's going to take like five hours to do but like here it's just like okay two fights and, and you've done this two fights And you done one fight and, and, and this is done or like one more level or something. It's just like uh, In this way, it's like really nice It's like one more turn basically uh, except of course not a sieve. Okay, no protection from my spells. What a nice change! I can just do whatever I want, except I can't read anything. Uh, obviously I can blow this up, but I don't don't really care. I guess. Uh, what if I did flaming schools blindly? This would match, I would get a 4 off. No, I wouldn't. Eh, whatever. Let's do it. There was a chance, like, I didn't know which order they're going to, like, fall, but there were so many things that would be falling that there was a big chance that I'm going to get an extra turn. And I get no good value out of it, so let's do this. Okay, this. And this. Okay, so uh, the Magnetor is like really battered by now. I wish there was something that like, for example, converts all the yellow ones and gold, so I would have like a combination of different ones. So whichever ones are too many, like whichever kind of gem there's too much of on the on the board, I could just like wipe it out. That'd be really cool. Uh, yeah. Uh. 
it's nothing to be done. Just bolt, 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 and I think it's dead. Yeah, I feel like Elemental Gem is one thing I've been missing from my build. Uh, like, my build has been like, kinda powerful, but like, there's no good finisher, but right now there is. Like, it's just crazy good. It's like, I just press a bunch of buttons and I win. This finisher is just too good. Okay, let's continue. Better and the horns. 93rd and 94th piece, only 7 more remains. Okay, so we know how many... Uh, okay, there's a lot of side quests. You must take out the Minotaur red eggs and to train you and improve your skills with the eggs. Okay. Alright, that sounds fair. Uh, I can take a lot more quests, so let's get more quests. Oh, hello elf! Alright, uh, let's get more quests. Uh, I need to fight the elves, okay. Uh, that sounds reasonable. Alright, so... Uh, I guess I could just go there. Yeah, let's just take a walk. Uh, do I have to go anywhere down? Uh, wait, what? Uh, no, no, go away, Centaur. Okay, no runes here. Uh, yeah, this city is basically the menace. Uh, this is the queen. Hello, queen! Oh well. Climb the tree. That sounds entirely reasonable. Oh well, oh well. Okay. This is pretty decent level. Uh... What is this? Plus 5 life, plus additional 1 for every 4 blue mana. Uh, it's not that powerful. It's okay, but it's not too powerful. Okay, so basically stealing stuff from everybody. Am I the villain in this story? Because like I'm stealing stuff from everybody. Uh, I've almost like sold... Uh, well, I didn't sell her, like this girl into, into like sex slavery among like the nomads. Or... Uh, well, but there was an option to do so. Uh, I'm sieging all the cities, I'm stealing all the stuff, I'm basically like wrecking everything. It's not like selective, it's not like good versus evil, I'm basically like wrecking everybody. Like elves, minotaurs, like wrecking everybody's like lives. Am I the villain in this story? Perhaps that that's the real uh, message of this, uh, is that that's like no good people, at least I'm not the good person. Uh, okay, let's blow this up. Yeah, this is like annoying levels of resistances. It's not very high, but it just must might just happen. And it would be really annoying if it happened. Okay. Uh, I almost wanted to st start flaming schools, but he just broke it accidentally. Uh, all right. So what can we do? Uh, that's a horrible, horrible idea. So let's do this instead. And the flaming schools are still broken. Not by a lot, but they are still broken. I could do them anyway. Can I? There's so many 4 offs I'm going to get if I... Yeah, whatever. Let's do this. It's a lot of uh, mana. Flaming schools are still broken. Oh, uh, well. Uh, my mana is almost infinite now. Uh... Sure. What? Equal to enemies to half of my enemies yellow mana. Oh, this is really powerful. Uh, oh well, I'm just, I can bolt him for more. Okay. 
life game is doing nothing. You are victorious. Okay, take die. And one more health, probably defending it. No, it's a Griffon for a change. Low level Griffon, okay, good. Uh, Alright, so uh, what is this? 3 points of damage to enemy plus additional damage turns all green and blue into yellow. Yellow is like not terribly useful, but whatever. It doesn't seem like he's going to disrupt me too much, so it's probably going to be fine. And in any case, uh, there's infinite uh, retries in this game, so who really cares if there's going to be like some small problems. Just ramp the manas, uh, get the gem going, get, get the troll ring going, get everything going and then win. Uh, yeah, that might be unfortunate. And use my like tiny... okay, that's, that's the one from the dragon. Uh, I didn't even beat that, what if it happened? Like, so what if it happens? Oh, that's kind of annoying. That is more than kind of annoying. Oh, come on. Okay, so we still need to get some small amount of red to fill it, and then everything is going to start magically coming for us. Uh, okay. Uh, bit of red. No, red, red is one was already filled, so okay, that was silly. Uh, let's cascade this. Just everything. Everything is going so well. Okay, so yes. So instead of actually doing anything actively, I'm just like, my strategy right now is just like, fill some manas, fill some manas, fill some manas, and then everything magically works. Uh, that was a completely pointless move, but whatever. Uh, can I double this somehow? Probably not. Eh, doesn't really matter. Okay, now I max on all the manas, so bolt him to death. It, it kind of matters to do it, like, uh, to wait until the last possible moment, until you have everything maxed. Uh, not because the bonus is much bigger, but because then you just have always infinite mana. Like, this, it only works, like, the combo only works if you have uh, perfect mana. If you have even one less, your recovery is going to be much, much weaker. I guess, like, you can, you don't have need uh, perfect yellow mana. Uh, that doesn't really matter. But you need like perfect uh, green, perfect blue, and as close to perfect red as, as possible because that's just the damage. Uh, yellow can be anything; that doesn't matter. So that's the combo: uh, full green, full full blue, uh, as high as possible red, but not, doesn't have to be max, and uh, at least four uh, yellow. Uh, it doesn't really matter if four or whatever; any number of yellow is fine as as long as at least four. And yeah, like, there's no way for him to do anything about this. Like, it's that powerful. It takes a few turns, but it's really powerful. Okay, the eye is mine, and now we go. Uh, can I just evade this dude? I cannot, apparently. Okay. <laughs> they will not strike a lady. Let's see. That would be such a lovely flaming school. Come on. It's just like a few more levels. I need three more levels. I need 3,000 gold. Uh, three and a half thousand gold, let's say. Uh, yeah, that's that's my annoying. I will keep I, I will keep talking about this until I get it, and I will just keep spending my money on it. So I guess I should just uh, get my last rune item as well. The items that give me some uh, some amount of uh, uh, some amount of the proper mana types. So. Okay, this should be easy. Nothing here looks looks like terribly dangerous, so... I 
wonder how many other strategies are there, but like this is not one of the games that are super popular for streaming or for recording on YouTube. Uh, it's also true that like the game came out before uh, Let's Plays were a big thing. Like they always existed. Like uh, like some kind of like uh, in text form or something, or like like people used to like make uh, screenshots and text and stuff uh, before the videos. So it's not like completely new medium, but like uh, all the popularity of Let's Play videos is recent. Uh, and also like the quality, uh, you could make screenshots of decent quality like f uh, since forever, even in the ancient days, like there was, I don't think there was ever a time where it was not possible to make like a decent screenshots and some text commentary, but I don't think that was ever true. But like having a high quality video, that's, that's, that's new. I mean YouTube used to like, be like, like a 240p, like what the fuck is this? You can't watch this. Like 240p, like it was like, I don't know. A dancing baby or something stupid like that. You can't watch like a real anything real this way. Like try watching like, like standard definition TV. It's just just like uh, unwatchable. It's the same way like like watching a Polish like lector. It's just I can't watch it. I tried. I can't. Like I know a lot of people do, but I I, I was not, I never got used to it because I like didn't watch TV when I was like uh uh so I went like I didn't have a TV so. I mean, like, uh, my parents got a TV, but I didn't have a TV when I moved out, and uh, I never got used to it. And, and even, like, when I lived with my parents, I just, like, mostly got used to the internet, so... So I never got used to, like, a lot of no nonsense people get used to with TV. Okay, uh... And the same way, like, I can't get con- like, I can't play consoles, because consoles are, like, such shit quality. Like, I have no idea how to, like, watch it or play it. The quality is just ridiculously bad. Okay, I could do uh, schools here. Uh, this does nothing, that's the problem with this, this does nothing. And this is just exposing uh, a really good, uh, no. Well, I could just fireball. This is a good one. Eh, that was good. Yes, yeah, so I need to get a bit more red. Well, I'd like to get a bit more red, it's not mandatory, so... It's Hitsing, but Hitsing kind of breaks my... Yeah, Hitsing breaks my uh, blue and my red. So it's not actually that great. Yeah, let's wait a, waste a turn or two. Healing, yeah, whatever. I kind of want to get some more red, yeah. Or yellow. I mean, I, I can run the combo because I have two, two of my... Uh, the two important ones are maxed out, so the combo would be would just take longer because it would do less damage every turn. Yeah, this does nothing. Or alternatively, I could just try to set up uh, flaming schools, but I guess it's easier to like. Okay, so this is a weaker version of the combo. Uh, it does 11 instead of 13, but like it's probably easier to just do it instead of miss two turns. What? Anyway, it's probably easier to like do a weaker version of the combo and just spend a few more times doing it instead of like trying to set up a massive amazing combo. Uh, and since like it's going to take take a few extra turn to set up a better combo and you're saving a few extra turn on faster combo, but like it kind of like evens up. Uh, and now we have a best combo, so yeah, 19 damage. That's crazy. What? Come on. Just come on! Ah, so much for my amazing combo, yeah. Oh well, he doesn't have that much life, so... Ah, I so hate this mechanic. It's not even like it's unbalanced or anything, it's just like... Uh, it's invalidated as a strategy that, I, that I'm playing as a wizard, so... That's why I hate it. It's probably just fine. I, the problem is that like, it's one of the strategies that happen to you at random and there's like no way to trigger it. So if you wanted to have like a character based on triggering uh, on triggering uh, mana drain, there's no way. Like it's too random. It just happens to random and screw pe screws people. Like you can uh, like have a build that's more resistant to it, but like it's still a random event, so... And... Um, and this is the kind of like strategy that I don't like. Uh, events that like 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 damaging, but like you can control somewhat. 
uh, that's fine. For example, like uh, in you for the attrition and, and manpower and so on. Like I really hated them at first, uh, but like you kind of learn that okay, so you can take advantage of manpower and drain like your enemy of manpower. And there's of course the the Ottomans. Then it, actually they they nerfed Ottomans, but initially like Ottomans were impossible to defeat because uh, they had infinite manpower. Like literally, like something like 300% bonus to manpower whenever they were at war with infidels, which was always. Uh, so they were basically impossible to do anything, but generally like, so manpower was something that like, if you didn't know how to play around it, oh fuck you game! Uh, that's not even, okay, that's a reasonable percent, but... That was a way for me to actually get, get out of uh, this problem, but well, it didn't work. So, so... Manpower was one of those mechanics you didn't like at first, but like, you kind of like figure out, okay, so this actually has some rich, rich gameplay. I mean, like, uh, I'm talking about manpower because like, U3 had manpower, but it was basically irrelevant. It didn't matter at all. Uh, it was just so high that it just completely ignored it. It could have as well not been the game. I mean, there were some cases where like, play like a really tiny non-European country that manpower mattered, but like, it was just basically, yeah, just, just just ignore it completely, it doesn't matter. Uh, so EU forces had this massively low, like really really low manpower and like, what the fuck, like what do they do? Like, I, do I stay on like speed 4 forever? And it turns out that there were like so many ways to actually do something with manpower, it's something interesting. Uh, so it, it kind of probably was a good choice to like lower the manpower massively. So you have for example mercs and so on. On the other hand, like with like you for manpower, there's still a problem because like it matters a lot early game and then it just stops mattering at all. It becomes irrelevant. Uh, okay, I should probably start bolting him, but I don't have enough green to actually. Uh, let's get some more manas. Okay, that's. I need to max out my green, or something close to maxing out my green. Uh, well, I could flame schools and do it this way. Okay. Eh, worked as well. Anyway, yes, yeah, so... Uh, mana drain is an example of a mechanic which... Uh, you can't really do anything about. Like, you cannot trigger it, so... You, like, it's a pure downside mechanic. Since you can't use it against your opponent. Like, you can randomly win this way, but like, it's a random, so... Okay, six more pieces. Uh, let's get the quest. Tail. Oh well. And let's get to level. Anyway, I'm just going to end it here and in the next episode, which is probably going to be recorded in another session because I am kinda tired of of uh Talking for like that that long kind of is kind of exhausting. I've been like talking for like eight episodes or more, no more than eight episodes. I think it's like ten episodes. Yeah, so so it's been ten episodes of straight gameplay, and, and after ten episodes, like my ability to like speak coherently is just like kind of getting is getting lost. So thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye bye.